Thank you, Patrick, Your Excellencies, Heads of State, friends. Um, this is an important milestone. What we are creating in Stockholm, Stockholm Plus 50, what we are creating in Lahti, Finland, we really wanted to come here together before the COP27 and before UNGA week. But of course, as we agreed already earlier, we have to do things differently. We have to look at the, the access to finance. And, and therefore, of course, we, we spoke about quantity, quality, and access of adaptation finance. And I fully agree with all of you who said that we are not there. We are not there as far as climate financing architecture. We are not there as far as having private sector and the solutions on board. And of course, I'm pr proud as a Nordic minister here that Norway and Denmark, and we have been able to raise the public finance as well. But as said, we do need scalable models. And I give you a couple of examples. First of all, the early warning systems. We've been able to scale up. We've been able to use different instruments and we've been able to save lives in a very challenging conditions. And therefore, the meteorological know-how, the know-how of the companies is needed, and it's there. But many barriers still exist. For instance, lack of data on la uh, climate risks and the vulnerability and low perceived returns. Uh, public finance can be used to address and overcome these and leverage more private sector involvement and investment in adaptation. But once again, we need to be more strategic. And of course, as a Nordic country with a very harsh climate, we have a wealth of experience in the field of meteorology. And of course, then we utilize also the uh, uh, know-how of the companies. And of course, we have to be technology neutral. We heard this 3% dilemma. Where is the private sector? It should be 30%, not 3%. And you said that everything is A-OK. -okay. I disagree with that. The companies, they don't know how to access the finance, how to get the system level approach. And this is a serious situation if and when you want to get private sector on board. And therefore, we have to look at the public procurement processes. There should be alliances, not just cost and the, let's say, uh, a price value there, because then we are not sustainable. Uh, Finland is part part participating active in making Glasgow the forest and land use declaration operational, and already at this year's climate and biodiversity COP summits, I still want to bring this to the table. And finally, uh, Patrick, I want to say something about the opportunities. I said earlier, we need the trade agreements. The, we need the WTO, but we also have to understand that green transition and digitalization, it's a huge job opportunity for African countries and people. We should talk about that more and have the industry with us when, if and when we work as Team Europe. And, and therefore, I really want to emphasize that. But once again, thanks for being here. Thanks, Rotterdam. I think this city, this country is a great example of integration, great example of adaptation and great, great example of great international people who have really implemented for decades in different parts of the world.